Okay, so I've just been inspired by my colleague to do a POV on messy rooms <laughs> because take it from someone whose room um, looks like a tornado ran through it 100% of the time, always, it never, I mean, unless I want to go somewhere, it's never really clean, um, which is a really big problem, I'm like the biggest slob, I'm quite disgusting, like, you don't have any idea how gross I am, uh, I will eat in my room and then like leave the plates in my room, <laughs> there's one over there right now and I don't know what it's, when it's from and that's quite disgusting, I acknowledge the fact that it's disgusting, but I don't change it right away, like if I'm, if I see a plate and I'm on my way out of my room then I'll take it, but yeah, and my dad comes in and he's like, Casey, look, it gets really, really, really bad <laughs> because my room gets dirty. And my room was clean for the longest time it has ever been ever clean, ever, for like a month, I think. And then my dad comes in, because when my parents do laundry, they take our hampers because they need to put the laundry in there. And my dad comes into my room. Hold on. My dad comes into my room and he like takes my hamper and he dumps it out all over the floor and that's like a month's worth of uh clothing in there and it's all over my floor and I'm like hey man what's up with what's up what's up what are you doing and he's like oh I need this for laundry and I'm like okay and then my floor had a big pile of clothes on it and it stayed there for a while and then anarchy slowly one by one things started getting on the floor and I just didn't pick them up because I don't I have lack of motivation most of the time so yeah I just didn't pick them up and now my room is a disaster area so thank you father for promoting it yeah so uh, I I know there's a problem with clean with dirty rooms I know there is and it's quite disgusting but I don't have motivation like most people in the world I don't know maybe I'm clinically depressed or something but I don't have motivation like I can't clean my room unless I like I uh <clears throat> I need to to go somewhere and even then sometimes it doesn't get done all the way but yeah uh I really hate my my dirty room and if you're saying like oh why don't you just do something about it again I don't have motivation like normal people of the world so my room remains as it is until I need to go somewhere um my room is not that not that big so it fills up really quickly and I step on things and I break them and I get really mad so having a dirty room is not cool it is not fun it is a task and a chore to keep clean a room that you know it's the only room in the house that's for so keep it clean you know I mean, I know I shouldn't be preaching like that, but, you know, if I could keep my room clean and have all the motivation in the world to be OCD about where I put my stuff, which I kind of am, I'm really actually organized, surprisingly, I have a lot of stuff that in my room that's organized, it's just usually clothes, and sometimes it's garbage, and sometimes it's stuff that doesn't, get, like, gets out of place, um, that's on my floor, my room is actually really organized, I have like, whenever I clean my room, I get really OCD about the organization. So, yeah. So, dirty rooms. Keep your room clean. Try to. You know, it's not the end of the world if it's not clean because you're not, nobody's gonna see it. Nobody's gonna see your dirtiness and sloviness unless they're coming over. And if they're coming over, clean your room because they don't want to see that. Even though you like to believe that they don't care. They really kind of don't care, but they do care at the same time because they're your friends and then, you know, it's gross. So... Yeah, uh, having a dirty room bothers me, as I said, but, you know, I can't, I can help it, but I don't, so, it's summer, and I don't really get out of bed, because I don't have motivation, I don't know, it sounds super duper clinically depressed, but, yeah, I'm gonna go, because this video is long, and I'm gonna wait till it hits the five minute mark, but thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, check out Angela's POV on ranting, okay? See you when I see you. Bye 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 bye.